Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another mod installation tutorial. For this tutorial I am going to be installing the Instant Massive Structures mod, which is pretty insane and yeah, contains a lot of pretty pretty insane stuff. But we are going, going to go and install the actual mod. So what I am going to do first is create a clean drop minecraft file you don't actually have to do this but I'm doing this to make sure I will not have any problems for this video so yeah I'm just going to head and press play and let the minecraft 1.11.2 load up for now um yeah so what I am going to do is download the files we'll need before the minecraft is loaded up We'll need two files which are Minecraft Forge and Instant Massive Structures mod itself, of course. So what I'm going to do first is install Minecraft Forge and make sure you have selected the right uh, version for Minecraft, which is in this case 1.11.2 and hit the installer for Windows. The installer is the easiest way to install minecraft forge and it's really really easy so there we go it's downloaded right now and then we are going to download instant massive structures mod itself so when you get on this site you can go ahead and scroll all the way down and then you'll find the download page in the bottom left corner go ahead and press download then you'll see a menu where you can choose for your game version which which is in this case 1.11 and it works fine for 1.11.2 please wait it says all right download instant massive structures mod for minecraft 1.11 there we go so for this video i am going to drag both of these files to my desktop all right Yes, yeah, so I might have an older version of Forge, but that, yeah, it's fine like this. Just drag it to your desktop, drag the mod file to there too. You can delete those later on. Well, not this one actually, but you'll drag it to another folder. So my Minecraft has just loaded up without anything installed yet, as you see. Now we are going to go ahead and close Minecraft and open the Forge installer. So yeah, you don't really need to Mercurius, you can uncheck it, you can let it be checked, but it's not really necessary for anything in this installation. Just make sure it says install client and the location of your .minecraft folder is correct, but for most of you this will just be the default location. Go ahead and press OK and yeah, this won't take too long. And after this is done, we are going to go ahead and open Minecraft again. As you see, it says successfully installed client profile Forge. So when we launch Minecraft, just make sure you hit uh, yeah, this uh, little arrow up and hit the new created Forge profile. Hit play and your Minecraft will boot up with the mods. Well, with Minecraft Forge installed, not any mods yet. So as you see, it says loading, uh, loading the mods, initializing the mods, which is, yeah, making sure you have installed Minecraft Forge. As you see now, it says five mods loaded, five mods active. I think it says like three or four when you uncheck the Mercurius box. But as I said, it doesn't really matter for now. Uh, those are just the default files from Minecraft Forge and Mercurius. So when you have opened up your Minecraft, you can go ahead and close it. And then we are going to install the actual mod itself. So go to your search bar in Windows and type in percent sign app data percent sign and open the folder that shows up. This is either going to be present app sign percent sign app data percent sign. Sorry or roaming but they'll do both di redirect you to the roaming folder 
If you were in your roaming folder, go ahead and open the .minecraft file, which now contains a new created mods folder. Open your mods folder and just drag the instant massive structures mod in there and go ahead and open your Minecraft again. So again, make sure you have the Forge profile installed and let it boot up. Alright, so it's loading and now it says 6 mods active because we just added another mod. I'm going to create a super flat world for now. Oh, I didn't create a super flat world. My bad. And I'm going to open up full screen. Alright, so... I'm just gonna place the actual buildings like here. So when you have installed the mod successfully you can see you have multiple pages now in your inventory. And we can go ahead and yeah pick any any block but I think I'm going to search for a nice tower. Yeah, so you have the um, directions it's in, so it says like south or north or west, it can be anything. And what it says is the direction of the doors, I guess it was. But we can go ahead and check that out right now. Can I see which direction I'm facing in this? I'm not sure actually. Well, it doesn't really, really matter. I'm just going to go ahead and show that the mod is actually working. So there we go. You might have little lag spikes when you are creating some of those massive buildings. I'm not quite sure how high this tower is going to be, but it seems pretty, pretty high. Alright, so yeah, that's a tower of good size. What you can do with this mod is just create enormous cities within, yeah, literally minutes actually. Let's just place one more thing. I want something big. Alright, town hall big. Let's see what it gives us. And it will just go over all the blocks that are already standing there. Alright, so, oh. Okay, so it's kinda glitching now because it goes through my other building but for now it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to save this world either way as you see it's going pretty pretty fast and this building is also pretty huge Yeah, so you see I'm having some lag spikes because of all those placed all those placed bo blocks every single second. I'll just go ahead and stand still and let it load up. Alright, so I think this is the highest layer. Oh. Yeah, so there is the roof. Alright. Yeah, so if it glitched, just go ahead and, like, fly to it. It should actually load the blocks. I'm not sure if it's gonna... Yeah, yeah. Alright, so there we go. Oh, it's still not done. Wow, so this school is pretty much as high as the... It was a school, right? Oh no, a town hall, alright, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so... This is pretty, pretty insane. And as you see, my earlier tower is pretty much gone right now. Still kinda glitching out right here. Alright, yeah, so it did remove everything from my other tower up to the highest layer of this building. Which is looking pretty, pretty insane. 
so there you go i hope you have liked this installation and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you have any suggest suggestions for future videos let me know if you have any trouble installing this mod let me know in the comments too thanks for watching and goodbye i'm out